So you have your bottle of medication here, okay? And as I mentioned earlier, you wanna take an alcohol swab and always clean the top, okay? That's gonna essentially disinfect the top. You're gonna then take your needle here and let's say we're gonna have this person inject 0.2 mLs or 0.2 cc's or what we refer to as 20 units. So you're gonna draw back the plunger till the top of the black part is touching the 20. You're gonna take the cap off. I always tell patients to turn the bottle over, stick the needle right in the middle of the rubber and push the air out that you had in the syringe into the solution. Now you're gonna draw back slowly but surely until you get to the 20. I often will recommend that patients draw back past the designated amount. So let's, we'll go to 30 here. And the reason for that is sometimes you can still get air in there. So once you're past the 20, then you just push out the fluid until you get to the 20. And that's a, the way that you can guarantee that you don't have any air in the system. Once you're at the designated amount, you pull it out and your needle is ready. So we're gonna cap this and then put it down for a second. Now, here's your anatomy, right? So we already talked about how we look at the penis sort of as a, the face of a clock and we wanna go at one to three o'clock or um, nine to 11 o'clock here, okay? I made a fake vein there. So if I were gonna tell my patient where to inject, I would tell them to go right above this so that you're not injecting into that visible vein. So hopefully you can see that. And what I tell patients to do is you're gonna take the cap off here. You're gonna hold your penis with the non-injecting hand. And I always tell them to put it as close to the skin as they can and count one, two, three, push it in. I like to tell my patients to keep a dimple, maintain a dimple in the skin so that when you're pushing the medicine in, you know it's going into the erection tissue and not just underneath the skin. What I see a lot of patients do is they'll put the needle in, they'll get scared as they're pushing the medicine in, and they start to lessen the pressure, and then the needle you know, is not where it needs to be and the injection won't be successful. So if you always kind of create that dimple and apply enough pressure to see a dimple in the skin as you're injecting, you'll know for sure that it's, it's where, where it needs to go. So now we've given ourselves the shot. You're gonna remove the syringe, put it down, take your hand, wrap it around like this is what I tell patients. Some people will say, you know, apply pressure like this. I just tell them to wrap their hand around their penis like this and hold pressure for two to three minutes. What that's gonna do is it's gonna prevent bleeding from, um, from happening where you gave yourself the puncture site, will prevent bruising, um, we also think it helps to prevent fibrosis in the long term. So fibrosis is scar tissue that can form after, you know, um, people do many of these injections. If they're not doing them correctly over time, they can develop a little scar scarring. Um, and that can sometimes make these injections less effective. So if you're practicing, you know, the, the injection technique, the holding the penis for two to three minutes, you should be able to prevent fibrosis.